So today in math, we're moving right along to lesson 5.6. It's module 5, lesson 6. That's why it's 5.6. And your learning goal today is to find the volume of combined figures. And we'll talk about what that means in just a little moment. But let's first talk about the problem of the day. As we know, we calculate the volume by measuring the length times the width times the height. So as long as your three factors equal what number when multiplied? 64, the volume, those dimensions work. But the question's asking next, how could it cover the most floor area? Okay, well, how can we make the area of the base the biggest? What's the biggest area we could make? Let me ask you a question. If my length is 64 meters and my width is one meter and my height is one meter, would that cover the most floor space? Do you guys see that? Because the area of the floor would be what? 64. This one, do you guys see how this option could work too? If, if eight is the length and eight is the width, could that also cover 64 square meters? Yeah. Okay, so as long as your area of the floor, base area, is 64, you have the right answer. Does that make sense? Okay. Now what if the next one says, what if, how could it have the most height? If now this becomes the height, if 64 meters is how tall it is, and it's one meter wide and one meter long, would that be the most height? Okay. So given that knowledge, how could I make the double have the biggest floor space, take up the most space on the floor. Itai? Uh, you could do 64 as your length, 64 as your width, and then what's your height? 64 and 64? Okay, now will that give me a volume of 128? No. Okay. You're on the right track though. If I have 64, 64 as one of my factors, what could another factor be? Jack? Two, okay, so I could have 64 as the length, two as the width, right? Itai, you see where, where you went wrong? Good. And what would the height have to be in this case? One. What would the area of the base be? 128, right? So as long as you make the area of the base 128, is that the biggest it could possibly be? What's the tallest the double could possibly be? Alexander? Could it be taller than 128 meters? What's the tallest it could be? Right, so that if my height is 128 meters, what would my length have to be? One, and what would my width have to be? Does that make sense? Okay, so following that same logic, what's the biggest, what, what area of the base do I need to be to make the biggest area of the base for the half? I need the area to be 32 square meters. What's one way I can make 32 square meters? Aditya? Uh, you can make Sounds good. Okay, that would give me the biggest area of the base. Is that the only way? No. Could I do 32 times 1 times 1? What's the tallest I could make the half? Reagan? Uh, 32 cubic meters. Which would be Wait, I could make the height 32 cubic meters? The height would be 32 regular meters, right? Good. And then the width would have to be? Uh, 1. And the length would have to be? 1. Very nice. Okay. I gave you your blocks and a partner because you are each going to build a different structure. Partner A, you can decide amongst yourself who's A and who's B. Partner A is going to build a structure that's three centimeters by two centimeters by two centimeters. It doesn't matter which one's the length, which one's the width, and which one's the height because it just depends on how you turn it, right? Partner B, you are going to build a structure that's two centimeters by two centimeters by two centimeters. Then you're each going to find the volume of your structure that you built, okay? Go. Eyes up here, please. So now that you have your figures, they should be drawn and labeled in your notebook. And let's talk about the volume. What's the volume of prism A? 12, 12 what? <laughs> cubic centimeters. If you count the number of cubes used to build, that you used to build structure A, how many cubes did you use? 12, right? 12 cubes, right? Okay. What about for, for partner B? What is the volume of your st structure? Eight what? Eight cubic centimeters. How many cubes did you use all together to build it? Eight. Okay. Now, okay. now you should have put them together. Here's two different examples of ways that two different partners put their uh, two structures together. What's the volume of the new structure? What's the volume? Go ahead. How, how can we, we can find the volume by counting the cubes, right? Count them. How many cubes are there? Six. 
Give me a thumbs up when you know how many cubes you used. Give me a big thumbs up when you know how many cubes you used to combine your structure. So if there's 20 cubes in your combined figure, what's the volume? 20 20 cubic cubic centimeters. So the combined volume of your new structure is 20 cubic centimeters. Now, let's take a look, okay? If we look at the one I took a picture of here, we can see that partner A's structure is this bottom part. Do you guys see that? This bottom part right here? How many cubes were in, or what was the volume of partner A's structure? 12 cubic centimeters. And then up here is partner B's, right? How, what was the volume of partner B's? 8 cubic, eight eight cubic centimeters. centimeters. So if we put that together, 8 plus 12 is 20, 20 cubic centimeters. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Very good. We're going to skip this bottom part where it says build another structure. We know we can find the volume of this prism by, by multiplying the length, which is what? 3 meters. By the width, which is? 2, two meters. By the height, which is? Seven meters. So the, the volume is 42 cubic meters. Now, imagine another prism identical to this one, okay? If we imagine another one that's identical, what would the volume of the identical prism be? 42 cubic meters, right? Because it has all the same dimensions, so it would have the same volume. Now, if I stuck them together, what would the combined volume be of the two? It would be 42 plus 42, right? Which is 84 cubic meters. Very good. We would have the original one right here, right? But then next to it, we would have another one. See that? Okay. And so over here, the length would be 3 for this one and 3 for this one. So what would the total length be? 6. Because 3 plus 3 is 6, right? The height, would the height change? No, the height would still be what number? 7. seven. And then would the width change? Yeah. Would it? No. Oh. no, the width is still what? 2. two. So my new dimensions are the width or the length is now 6 meters, the width is 2 meters, and the height is 7 meters. What's 6 times 2? What's 12 times 7? 84. So we can see that the combined volume is 84 cubic meters. So as Lena, Alina said, this is the one we just looked at. It's just one prism. But this new one, it kind of looks like two prisms, one stacked on top of the other one, huh? Okay. How can we find the volume of this combined figure? Can we find the volume of each one and then add them together? Okay. Let's first find the volume of the bottom prism. What's the length of the bottom prism? Six inches. What's the width? five inches. What's the height? Four. Four, because you can see it's labeled like that, right? So what's the volume of the bottom prism? 120. What's the label? Cubic inches. Very good. Okay, and I can even write that in here. This is 120 cubic inches. Now let's try to find the volume of the top prism. What's the length of the top prism? Three inches. What's the width of the top prism? Do you guys see how it has the same width as the bottom one? Okay. What's the height of the top prism? Okay. So what's 3 times 5 times 2? 30 cubic inches. Thank you. So let's write that here. 30 cubic inches. So all together, how can I find the combined volume? I need to add what two numbers? 120 plus 30. Okay. Which is? 150 cubic So the total volume of this figure is 150 cubic inches. This figure still looks like two stacked ones, but what's the difference? Look at where they gave you the dimensions. Do you see how now, instead of giving you each height, they give you the total height? Yeah. yeah. But can we still figure out what, because they give you some on this side, right? Mm -hmm. Do you also see they didn't give you this, they didn't give you the length of this one, but they give you the total length and this part. So can you have, the difference here is you have some dimensions you need to figure out, huh? Okay? So, your first challenge is draw this figure and label all of the dimensions. Go. So once again, we can split this into two different prisms. What's the length of the bottom prism? Six meters. What's the width of the bottom prism? Two meters. What's the height of the bottom prism? Two. So we can find the volume of the bottom prism by multiplying six by 2, 
by 2, which is 24 cubic meters. So we can say that the bottom prism, the volume is 24 cubic meters. Now let's talk about the top. That's a little more tricky. What's the length of the top prism? Two meters. We can tell that it's two meters, and we're going to label it like that by writing it down because we know the total length from here to here is six, and this part is four, so this part must be two. Make sure you label that on your drawing. What's the width of the top prism? Two meters. Two. It has the same width as the bottom. Now, what's the height? Two meters. Again, we have the full thing, which is four, and we know up to here is two, right? So the remaining part must be two, two meters. So we can find the volume of the top prism by multiplying 2 by 2 by 2, which is 8 cubic meters. So then, if we know that, we can find the total volume by adding the bottom one, which is 24 cubic meters, to the top one, which is 8 cubic meters, for a total combined volume of 32 cubic meters. Very good. This one was a little bit different than the other one because they were missing measurements. But do you see how you can use, it, use the information you were given to find the missing measurements? Very good. It says, two rectangular prisms have a combined volume of 135 cubic meters. Okay, so imagine there's two different prisms. They're stuck together. And all together, the volume is what? 135 cubic meters. Very good. Now, here's some more information. Prism A, which is the first one, has double the volume of prism B. Exactly double. Okay, first question is asking you to figure out what is the volume of each prism, and if one face of prism A has an area of 10 square meters, what is its height? Okay, so let's first find out what the volumes are. We know that altogether, A, actually let's draw a tape diagram. Okay, we, our whole piece of tape, the combined volume is how much? 135 cubic meters. So we know that our entire piece of tape is 135 cubic meters. Now, if it is split into A and B, and A is two parts of B, then how many parts altogether is it split into? Three. three. So we can split 135 into three parts. And we know that prism A is two times as big as prism B. So this must be A, and this one must be B. Does that make sense? Very good. Okay, so we know that this altogether is A, basically. Okay. Now, so then we know how many units was 135 split into? Three. So we can do our trusty trick of writing three units equals 135. So therefore, one unit is going to be what? 135 divided by 3. What is 135 divided by 3? Go ahead and do the math. You know how to do it. 0.3. 